Amazon, the place to go. Bought this here, baby. So the reason I decided to put this uh, formula inside my car was because I was losing compression in cylinder four. I had about 120. Compression should be around 175 to 200. Okay, in my past video, you can see the compression scores, what I got for cylinder four, five, and six. I went ahead, I add this. So later on, we're gonna check to see if, you know, the misfire stops and if it starts running good and compression is back up again. So, keep watching, it's gonna be a great video. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the codes that my car was throwing out, okay? Check engine lights on. It was throwing out cylinder misfire number one, two, three, four, five, six, and multiple. I um, narrowed it down to cylinder four. We checked our compression, uh, 120, okay? All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and drop the engine restore, okay? We're gonna add the whole bottle to it. Now again, I was losing compression number four cylinder, 120, 175, 175 in my past video. You will see, I did a compression test on this car. Now right now I'm opening this bottle of engine restore and I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it inside this. So just bear with me here. All right, so I opened up my bottle. Now we're gonna go ahead and empty everything in here. Okay. Bear with me. Nice. So I'm just gonna drop everything in here. And we're gonna see, and we're gonna check later on how many miles it takes for the compression to go up. So I emptied all of the formula in here. Okay, you guys, I just got back from AutoZone. I drove my car uh, six miles, okay? So, so far, I did feel a slight performance different. I'm not gonna lie, I did feel a slight performance different. I didn't smash it all the way. I kept it on the 3000 RPM. As soon as I put that thing inside there, um, I left my car on for like five minutes running it. You know, I didn't accelerate. I also turned on the, the heater on for a good while and I left it on like that. And my, actually my car was really shaky before the um, engine restore. Now it seems a little calm. Uh, check engine light, as you can see, hasn't turned on, okay? Um, I'm gonna check the compression in the morning, okay? As you guys can see, 262, 128, okay? All right, you guys, I turned on my car. I'm gonna let it on for five minutes. It's the next day. Um, I also have the heater on. As you can see, uh, six miles, so. Let's see if the compression went up. Guys, I took out my ignition coils, as you guys can see. Now I'm about to take out my uh, spark plugs. If you guys don't have a spark plug tool, um, you guys can use this. This is a little trick to take out your spark plugs. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take out all my spark plugs. Disconnect your ignition coils. And then we're gonna disconnect our fuel pump fuse, okay? Stay tuned, it's gonna be a great video. All right, you guys, my compression gauge is in. Now, make sure that you tighten it um, good because if it's not tightened really good, it's gonna pop out, all right? So my compression gauge is in. Now we're gonna crank the car six times and see if the compression actually did go up on this car. All right, now we're gonna go check. As you guys can see, compression is going up higher. Um, on my last compression check, it was below the 125 mark. So something's happening here. All right, you guys, um, cylinder number five uh, looks about the same, okay? The only one that changed a little was cylinder number four, which was at 120. Uh, it went up a little bit gradually. Now we're gonna test number six, see what's going on there. Well, I'll be surprised. Um, Compression is actually uh, pretty high on cylinder number six, as you guys can see. So something's going on here. Um, this thing is, the engine restore is, uh, as you guys can see, starting to take effect on here. And we only drove it six miles. So um, I'm gonna drive it some more and then do a compression check again. Okay, stay tuned. Guys, it's a 
fifth gear. Uh, you know, driving some miles. Check it out. Um, I want to show you guys the color of the oil here after the engine restore. Okay. Let me get a good glimpse of that. So color didn't change much as you guys can see it still looks honey the engine restore look really blue metally type but yeah all right guys this is the big final test i drove this car 100 miles the check engine light went on yes yeah, terrible so now i'm just warming up the car for a little bit um, i'm gonna do a compression test the last compression test to see if this engine restore is actually effective or not we're gonna start with cylinder six Check that out you guys, compression is really high, 225, nice, love it. All right, let me test compression number five. Okay, cylinder number five. Okay, compression went up high, it was at 175. Last but not least, moment of truth, we're going to test cylinder number four. How are you guys? Guys, moment of truth, this is the last cylinder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cylinder number four. That compression went up more than 125. Wow, look at that, people. We did a compression test uh, 108 miles later. Cylinder number four, however, kept misfiring still. I still got cylinder number four misfire. Check engine light is on. However, we did get an increase of 45 PSI in cylinder number four. We tested it out to be at 120 PSI. Then it went up to 125, the first six miles. And it, it, kept, it kept going up to 108 miles later. We got an increase of 45. So I'm really happy with the results. Um, Engine Restore is a good solution, um, you know, for the people that don't have a lot of money. Thank you guys for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and have a great day.